Samsung T9, the portable SSD. I'm gonna do the unboxing and show you what you get inside the box and a quick setup of this SSD with my devices. So you will get this T9 because the T7 does not have enough speed for what you need to do or what you're going to do with the device. So the T9 is going to provide 2000 megabytes per second for reading and writing. The finish on this device is a soft rubber feel and the device when it gets hot you will not feel it much because of the rubber sealing the SSD on the inside. Inside the box you're going to find cables that are going to provide you the most speed with this T9. These might be Thunderbolt 3 cables. The first one is a USB-C to USB-C cable which is going to be the one that you use regularly if you have recent devices but you also get an USB-A to USB-C cable which is going to be practical if you have a USB-C hub with USB-A port. If you have all the devices that still have USB-A port you can use that cable also. So here for my quick setup and my quick test I'm gonna do the test with smartphones. This is the iPhone 16 so if I plug the T9 on the iPhone 16 it works directly. There is no need to configure anything. The device is simply gonna work with the iPhone 16. So this is the same for any iPhone with USB-C port. You can see with this one I have 4 terabyte of memory left on this T9. It doesn't have anything inside. And here is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And also here it does work and show up inside the file application. So at least with the T9 we know that 4 terabyte, the maximum memory that you can get on this device is going to work with your iPhone devices. Previously I had done some tests with 4 terabyte memories which did not work. But with this one, the T9, it does work. And here is the Galaxy Z Flip 6. Here also I was able to access the inside of the Samsung T9 and it does work also. 